Okay, we're going to have a look here at drawing a screw thread and a bolt using the correct conventions. Now, this is important in a coursework to get the, the best mark we can. So, I'm going to start off here. I've changed the, I've put grid lock on and I've changed the grid on this A3 sheet to 5 millimeter spacing. I'm going to start by putting in my center line. So, here's my center line, and you can see that I've gone in there and changed line to dashed. Um, now I'm going to have to go back to standard line so I'll have to click on that and go line and move it up here to line. Okay so I've got my line there. Um, the next thing is I'm going to put my thread in and I need to put the thread for the other side so make sure this is equally spaced off of the center line and it's defaulted back to line which is annoying. Um, I'm just going to change that to line there and I'm going to add one more line. So there's the line there and I'll put that there for the thread. So now we've got our thread in here. I've just seen that one's gone too. And now we've got our thread drawn with our center line. So we can select the end here, it's going to be the end of our bolt, and we need to put a curve. Now for the curve, we're going to do an arc through three points, which is there. If you can see arc through three points, and if we pick one point, two point, three points there, and going up and put more line here. Okay, and then I'm just going to d use the delete tool to clean that up. And you can see now, if I zoom in on my thread detail here, you can see that I've got this curved end, I've got my center line, I've got um, the two lines for the threads, and now if I zoom out and I can select to draw my whatever head, hex head, cheese head, whatever head I select to draw on the bolt. So there is drawing a thread using the correct drawing conventions.